Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. So I want to talk about what's going on here. I uh, had heavy, heavy, heavy winds yesterday. And I don't know if you can see the winds are not super heavy today, but they're still blowing. Uh, I look at the top of the trees. You can see, see everything getting pushed around. Yesterday, we had major, major wind again for the second time in less than two weeks. Uh, a lot of power outages. Up here, we did not have the power outages this time, but I know that Rochester got hit really, really bad. Uh, I know that Greece, the town that we used to live in, in Rochester, off, all right outside of Rochester, they're in a state of emergency. Uh, no, the kids didn't have schools up there today, nothing. It was really, really bad. So uh, they are, they're out, like I think they said 91,000 people out of 290,000 customers are without power. So um, again, another reason why I am so delighted to be off grid because we just don't have those issues. I mean, we just don't. And uh, you know, like I said, a lot of times I don't know that the power's out unless I look over to the neighbor's house and you know, don't see their lights on because they always got their lights on. So that's the only way I would ever even know that the power was out or looking on Facebook and stuff like that. So a lot of my friends um, down in the Rochester area are without power. In Batavia, they got a lot of power outages as well. Uh, my sister, my niece, and my mom, all three of their places are without power right now as well. So uh, I, I talked to mom today and you know, they're, they're doing okay. But, uh, and here goes Eddie, having himself a nice run. <laughs> so today it's about, I don't know, it's like 32, 33 degrees. You getting the mail? So he's off for a run to go get the mail. <laughs> anyway, um, so somebody had asked me uh, how I secured my solar panels. So I'm going to explain it to you real quick, okay? Uh, the solar panels are in these racks. That, that um, The first three my stepfather built, I built the next three. And I kind of just copied his design and figured it out. And uh, like I said, I am no carpenter, but, uh, you know... They're functional and they work. So anyway, each one of these panels, you basically, what happens is these the panel gets slid in first, and then these boards cover the edge. And, you, you know, people say, well, you're losing power with that. You know, I might be losing a little bit, but my panels aren't going to blow away. So it locks the panels in to the frame because of these 2 by 2s on the outside here. So they're locked in that way. The blocks here, now I just added these in the winter time. I'm going to just leave them in, <clears throat> excuse me, from now on. But uh, they obviously help hold down, you know, the, the whole system as well. And then on the back side, what I do is the 2x4s for the legs, drill the hole in them, and that's a piece of rebar that's a 24-inch piece of rebar drive it right down into the ground and it locks it in now i can take the bottom of the solar pan or the the frame oh goodness gracious hi buddy well hello that's interesting i've never seen him do that before how are you huh you come to visit so anyhow um so i can pull the bottom out bring it back whatever and that's why i have the hinges here as you can see um on the panels so that they can be adjustable. So if I want to get them out farther, I can get them out farther. If I want them back farther, which I don't want them back farther, but so I, I really got to. Somebody said his a couple times. People have sent me things saying being able to track the sun and see what angle you need to be at at what time of year. I really do need to do that. I've been kind of lazy with that part of it, and I'll be the first to admit it. But so that's how these frames are in place. You are a freaking nut job. You are. You're a nut job. So, yeah, be careful. Yeah, see, now you're up there and you don't know what to do. Huh? No, no, uh, come, wait, come here, come here, come here. I know. There we go, okay. I don't want you sliding down the panels. I've never seen him climb up the panels like that before. So, anyhow, um, so while these people have no power, we still have power, which is absolutely fantastic as far as, I mean, it's, it's one of the beauties of being off-grid. I mean, you really are never having to worry about being without power. 
you know, uh, we'll take you in the building real quick. So it's like, it's funny. I have to. I, I laughed and I kind of did a tease to people. Uh, I did a picture. Eddie took a picture of me by the panels, and I said, uh, "It's days like today that I'm real happy to be off grid because, like I said, all these people have no power." Uh, let's see. Batteries right now are 27.8, which is awesome. We're pulling in 560 watts at the moment. We've already brought in 2.1 kilowatt hours already today. So. Uh, I think we pulled in 2.7 yesterday, even though it was real windy and cloudy yesterday as well. So it just, you know, it's uh, it continues to do well. I've had, uh, you know, love the system. I absolutely love the system. But, uh, you know, as the days are getting longer, it uh, definitely helps with uh, what we're bringing in. Like I said, there's some things I'm going to tweak this year. Um, obviously, and I've stated it over and over and over again, that I'm going to be getting more panels. And right now I'm uh, had transferred some money, and I'm waiting on that check. And as soon as that check comes in, I'm going to be buying the next three panels. And uh, so we'll, again, we'll up our production by a third with doing that, which would be absolutely awesome. You know, uh, summertime, like I said, with the 1,500 watts, we've been fine. But, you know, it's late fall, winter, and early spring. I mean, it's not even spring yet. It's still technically winter. Uh, but the days are getting longer, which is nice. But you're, you're basically looking at uh, the hardest part for a solar system, November, December, and probably January up here in the Northeast. That, that, let me just say that, too, because up here in New York, those are your, probably your hardest times for solar. So, uh, obviously, I'm going to be adding more panels, and uh, eventually I will have a pant load of panels. That's my ultimate goal because I just I want to be able to run year round no matter what no matter how cloudy or rainy or whatever and even on days when you're bringing in crappy power we'll be bringing in enough to get us by and uh so that's that's what that's all about but uh like i said we just keep plugging away at it and we'll get there and that's the whole thing guys it's like one of the things that i think a lot of people don't realize is you know appreciating what you have number one in working towards that goal of getting to where you want to be and it doesn't have to be instantaneous it doesn't have to be overnight it's uh... it's a process like anything else and that's exactly what it is it's a process so that's what it's all about for me but uh, i mean i feel bad for the people that don't have power they're saying they could be out of power three four five days down there till they got things squared away because they're still not completely recovered from the last windstorm that they had down in that area and uh, just take that in the house, honey, and I'll get it in a second. Um, so it, it's just, you just, that, that's what it's all about. I mean, you just, you know, you work at it methodically, and it's a reward. I mean, like last year, well, like I said, we started out with three panels. We had 750 watts. And last year, I bought the next three panels, and it made such a huge difference in our production. And we went from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. Now, will I eventually go to a 48 volt system? Yes, I will definitely eventually go to a 48 volt system. But it doesn't have to be right away. You know, I'll, like I said, I'll add the more panels first. And, um, you know, we'll just work at it as we can. And, uh, you know, that, that's what it's all about realistically. You just got to be patient and, and realize that, uh, you know, even if you buy one panel at a time, you're going to increase your production, you know, and, and that's what a lot of people don't get. You just, you don't, you know, it, it doesn't have to be magically everything is done. You don't appreciate it like that. You really don't. When you have to earn it and, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. I got to show you him. He's acting like a goof. But, um, so anyway... You know, I just wanted to share it with you. Uh, like I said, what's, what's going on up here in New York again? Another huge windstorm comes through, knocks all the power out again through Batavia, Rochester, Greece areas. Uh, like I said, Greece is in a, a disaster zone, they, or state of emergency, I'm sorry. State of emergency. So, you know, they're, they're not going to have power for a while. The schools are all closed and everything. So, And I'm sure it'll probably be closed again tomorrow. But uh, we'll see. So anyway... Uh, that's what's going on there, and but it's it's interesting. But like I said, in the meantime, we are absolutely fine. Have our power, no issues whatsoever. Uh, remember, guys. Again, most important thing. I say it in every video, but it really is important. Hug and kiss the ones you love every day. Make sure that you tell them. 
Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You never know what's going to happen. And it's one step at a time, it's one thing at a time, and it's one day at a time. You are going to get there. Whatever your dreams are, whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you're methodical about it, you have a game plan, and you work at it, you will reach your goals. Do not let anybody hold you back. Okay? So on that note, I'm going to sign off, and I will talk to you guys later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.